Hello everyone, finally the Eminence in Shadow Series 2 has arrived. Who can we see as the main character? The boy called Sin known as Shadow, and the girl his sister called Claire. Their part is coming too much the previous part was very good for them. Anyway, this story is going to be full of epic. The story takes place in Lawless City where many vampires rule. Whoever is the Shadow background character will solve the whole thing? Let's check it out. The Shadows and their underlings were in a place discussing Lawless City. As they were discussing, Shadow said that I know all there is no need to worry. Hearing that they were shocked and started talking among themselves, then Alpha shouted stop. Then she said that we will not sit here quietly. Then Shadow said hearing this I will handle everything. They said you will go there alone if anything happens to you. Shadow said don't be afraid nothing will happen to me lawless city the moon that rises in the night sky is beautiful to see. Then there was another adventure going there and investigating. This is the Crimson Tower the ruled by the Blood Queen. This is AA city of vampires. All humans are lower life insects. Just look at them that's gonna sick joke. Just then one of the Blood Queen's underlings stood there and asked who are you standing they said we are powerful warriors. Then he laughed out loud and said that I thought they were something big. No I thought wrong. Those who challenged the Blood Queen today were the only lunatics. Then he attacked them violently from above. This is where their story ends and then morning comes. In that town Shadow's sister, Claire, drags him along the grassy streets. Shadow says where are we going sister? She says first we are going to Dark Knight Association. There will be a hell big meeting. Then he was listening to these words with his mind and he remembered something behind his life. Just a small side scene. His sister won the Vuzin Festival Championship. For that he was dragged here by his sister for his future. He was taking him for a walk when a shopkeeper came and said that I have some fresh goods. As you can see it was the powerful warriors who beat yesterday. Shadow looked at him and wondered where he had seen him before. Then his sister said no. I don't need bad goods. Then she took him away. Then Shadow removed the sister's hand. Just ran away to another place. Then the Shadow was wandering around the city and suddenly the sky turned completely red. Everyone started attacking each other. They were then coming towards Shadow to attack after killing them. The girl was going from there when she saw him. Then she told him to bow his head and she went and killed them with one blow. She is none other than an ancient vampire hunter. Then his sister went home and saw that he was not at home and her head became very hot. At that time, a vampire woman came out from the next room and blew her head off with a blow. Then another incident happened. A girl's customer turned into a vampire. Her customer was about to attack her when Shadow came and saved her. Then Shadow left with a warning. Then she found her brother in the street. She was crying because he died. Then a girl came from behind and said I saw your brother there. Then his sister said then. Who is this? Then Shadow's sister asked her where my brother is right now. She said he was taken to the tower to sacrifice him to awaken the Blood Queen. Okay then let's go to save my brother. The extravagance in the city had increased so much that no one could do anything. Shadow came there and warned everyone. The Crimson Lord is told by his butler that everything is ready for the sacrifice. But as many stand in his way. He says no one can do anything. You kind the spirit fox and juggernaut the tyrant. The two of them were killing the vampires when a shadow stood between them. It was a sight to behold. Then episode 1 ends here. Looking forward to the next episode. Thank you. Stay tuned.